Greetings everyone, Chook here with Chook's Outdoor Adventures. I'm coming to you from my tactical compound here in Lost Skankeridge, Alaska, or as many of you like to think, my mom's basement. That's fine, we'll go with that. I wanted to discuss 10 millimeter, the current state of in Alaska of 10 millimeter, and as always, it's a phenomenon. I, I started talking about 10 millimeter four years ago. It was really big and it, it has just snowballed. All the hunters, all the outdoorsmen, they all approve of 10 millimeter and buy 10 millimeter guns. Now, there is a concerning ammo shortage, I'm not gonna lie, but if you look hard, you can still get ammo. I Friday, I went to four or five different stores and I collected 600 rounds of nine millimeter. I do wanna say I'm starting to lean towards Sportsman's Warehouse versus Cabela's and Bass Pro. They were here in Anchorage first. They've got a really good crew and they tend to get a lot of nice stuff in. So I, I'm leaning more towards Sportsman Warehouse, but it's the mom and pop stores, surprisingly, that I'm finding ammo. And although the 5.56 and 9mm was very difficult to find, I could have bought all the 10mm I wanted, which was interesting because in past summers, uh, the 10 millimeter has been sold out, but I think less people are buying it right now because they're focusing on self-defense stuff, which 10 millimeter is good for self-defense, but there's a lot of 10 millimeter range ammo out there, so I'll, I'll probably stock up a little bit, but um, the mom and pop shops is where, where I'm finding ammo right now. I do want to give a shout out to Juan from EDC Alaska. He's a good friend of mine and Long Windy Road. Check out Long Windy Road's channel, but I, I talk to him a lot and when I can, I go out and hang out at the shop, but he had a bunch of 10 millimeter ammo and he's, he's starting to sell more ammo before he was uh, just selling guns and his knives and he doesn't sell a whole lot of guns. I was shocked. I, I asked him, well, are you must be sell, selling tons of guns in the pandemic right now? And he said, well, not really, you know, um, you know, if I had some Glock 19s, I could sell them, but he really surprised me when he said, if I had 20, 20 different Glock 20 models right now, they would sell out today. That's how people are looking for Glock 20s. And that shocked me because uh, summer's over, it's now hunting season, it's the fall time in Alaska, and people want Glock 20s. Now this is my good old Glock 20, I've had this. I bought it from one at EZC Alaska, it's safe. Uh, three or four years ago when I updated my, my Glock 20. 10 millimeter, uh, I haven't had any malfunctions with this thing. It's been great. I got the TLR1HL on here. I've got a, a Alaskan made GS holsters, chest holster for it. I tend to take this out on most of my hunts. I am leaning more towards a 45 Super lately, but a uh, big fan of 10 millimeter. I've killed several wounded black bears with this pistol right here. And I'm a big fan of it. Um, just going through some of your options. The Glock 20, I, I think, has been around, it hasn't been around the longest, but it's it's been the big dog on the market as far as 10 millimeters. Can't go wrong. I always tell people to get a Glock 20. Get a Glock 40 if you want, a Glock 29. Those are nice too. Um, XDMs are probably next on my list. Those are really nice. I got a buddy that's gonna get one. Uh, I've owned one before. I'm, I'm kind of bummed that I traded it away. Uh, XDM's really reliable, good 10 millimeter uh, from the company that shall but not be named. After that, you've got the SIG P220. This Saturday, I'm reviewing my buddy's P220 Hunter in 10 millimeter. Uh, actually, was surprised. I really liked that gun. Um, then there's the 1911s. I mean, you can get a budget Rock Island 1911. Um, I've got friends that have liked those. Other people have said they had some issues with it, but uh, you can get the double stack version. I wouldn't mind one. And then there's the high end ones, the, you know, the fancy 10 millimeter um, 1911s that are out there that uh, are really nice. And I, I wouldn't mind one of those too, you know, like the Razorback and, and some of those things. So, but other than that, surprisingly, one of the guns that I mourn trading away was my Elite Match Tangfolio 10 millimeter. Now, that thing was all steel and it was all metal. That was one of the reasons why I traded away with the Glock 20. I wish I would have kept it. It never malfunctioned on me. It's actually a clone of a CZ 75 chambered in 10 millimeter. And looking at Tangfolio, they've got a couple other models. They've got a race gun 
that they make in 10 millimeters. So those witnesses, the, the race gun model, the elite match, uh, they're underrated in my opinion. And I, I'm actually in the market of getting another one because that, that 10 millimeter was amazing. I do want to say that SIG has recently hinted very strongly that they are going to be coming out with a P320 in 10 millimeter. And I'm intrigued by that. I, I got to say, if they do do that, I would buy one. Uh, in my opinion, some of the 320s don't, don't hold up under a lot of abuse, but I don't shoot my 10 millimeters a lot. I, I test them and I take them out for hunting and self-protection. So I would buy a, a P320 and 10 millimeter from SIG in a heartbeat. So I'm really hoping that's true if it comes out. I'd also like to beg HK to make a 10 millimeter. I mean, they could do it on some of their 40 frames, but uh, even the 45 frames, but that would be amazing. But there's been no word about that. But the SIG P320, keep an eye out for that. I think it would be cool. So let me know what you guys think about 10 millimeter. Please check out Juan with EDC Alaska if you're in Anchorage or Alaska. And that's about all I have. Let me know what you guys think. Please like, share, and subscribe. Help me out on Patreon if you can. It's Chuk, your friend in the field. My name is Chuk. I like to trade my guns just for fun. But now I have none. Oh, look at Chuck my bear. But I don't care. I got a 10 millimeter. Shoot out adventures. Why don't you almost die? Every time